Okay, so over here we're going to be doing the derivation of a voltage due to a charged disk. So the first um, sort of equations that you need, you need to know the equation for Ri is equal to, Ri squared is equal to Z squared plus R squared, Ri being this dotted line right here, R being the whole, the big radius. Then you can take the square root of that, z squared plus r squared, there you go. The other equations that you need to know is linear charge density is equal to q divided by a is equal to q divided by pi r squared, big R this time. you got to make sure to differentiate between the r's. Um, dq, so then if you... Take the derivative of that right here and you solve for q. So dq is equal to 2 pi r dr because derivative of pi r squared is bring the 2 down, 2 pi r, and then the derivative of r is dr times, then you multiply it by this to solve for q times that. And then you substitute in this for this right here. So dq is equal to 2 pi r dr q over pi r squared. That is a really wonky r. Okay, now setting up the big equation. V voltage at point P right there is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, which is, you know, the constant k. Integral of from 0 to R, so if I'm going to the inner point to the outer point, DQ over RI. Okay, now next, you keep the 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, but then you substitute in this whole equation right here. So 2 pi R DRQ all over pi R squared. 0 to r, and then see how this r i is here? This is where we're going to substitute this in. So times root z squared plus r squared. Okay, now the pi's cancel out. Okay, now we're going to do u substitution. So over off to the side, we're going to set u equal to z squared plus r squared. So then we're going to substitute back into that equation. 0 to r. So there's 2r dr on top, q. Except actually we're going to take q out here. So erase that. Taking q out here. And we're going to take this r squared right here. r squared. At the bottom is u to the 1 half because you see substituting right there. And then square root is the same as u to the 1 half. And then du all over you take du is equal to 2r dr because z just goes away when you take the derivative of it. So 2 du over 2r dr. So that whole term cancels out, so you're left with du over u to the 1 half. Now to integrate that, you would bring it up to the top. That's u to the negative 1 half. And then integration is you add 1, so negative 1 half plus 1 is 1 half. Then you multiply um, and the inverse of that or divide by it. So divide by one half is the same as multiplying by two. So whole thing is going to be q over four pi e naught r squared two u to the one half from zero to r. Now you're going to substitute the u back in so it's going to be q over four pi e naught r squared from 2 to z squared plus r squared from 0 to r. Now you plug that, plug the r in for this r variable, plug the 0 in for that, and then you subtract that from the 0 of then when you plug 0 into that. So bring that up here. It's going to be q over 4 pi 
Epsilon naught. Oh, can't forget about the R squared. My B. Um, it's gonna be so we're gonna bring out. I'm gonna bring out the two out here to make it nice and easy on us. So, once you plug the R in to this, plug that in where the Z, the R squared is. So it's gonna be root. Z, it's gonna be the same thing. Z squared plus R squared. But then when you plug zero in right here, R squared, obviously zero squared goes away. So you're left with root Z squared, which is just Z. So you're left with that. And it's pretty much all the same done. Pretty much final. And the only thing left to do is cancel out that. So you're left with Q over 2 pi epsilon naught R squared from gonna get a little tight z squared plus r squared minus z okay that's it not too bad right